orientation is locked. What the fuck? Brit. So I gotta keep it this way? Okay. If you say so. Oh no, I broke it. Hang on. There we go. Now we're now we're gaming. Mario, hello. Hold on, let me get this all. Antonio, welcome, welcome. Maximus. Um, hold on, it's being it's being a bit being a bit weird here. I forgot how I rotate this. Eh. There we go. Maybe we'll raise this. Raise you up in the arms of an angel. Is that good? That should be good. Minion, hello. Jessica? Jessica? Nice, with the $3 donation. Thank you. You haven't even seen my face yet. Well, I guess in the thumbnail you saw it. Yeah, this banana is actually not that good. I literally just bought it too, and it's, it's not doing much for me. Eh, it's not bad. It's a little bruised. This doesn't taste like super fresh, you know? Trio, hello. Welcome, welcome. It's quite warm in here too. Oh, and if you hear screaming children, um, that's just the neighborhood kids. They like to just scream in the streets. It's pretty, it's pretty great. It is not the time in no, that would be a separate video. That would be a video. Um, it is not the time in resin. Hold on, let me turn that air conditioner. It's fucking hot in here. In the arms of, <coughs> of an angel, Merchingo, bz.com. You guys remember bz.com? It's pretty epic. That's where I get all my anime figures. All right. So here's the deal. I got this massive resin figure in. Um, I uh, never really buy resin figures. This is my first resin figure since the tentacle figure. So I own, I guess this would be my third resin figure. I have the Z-Ton Centaur one, which is by Gen Genketu or whatever that company is. That's a resin. I have the tentacle figure, which is a candy resin, and then this one. So we're just gonna unbox this live. Um, my computer is still having issues, so I can't really edit slash get you guys a video. So we're just gonna we're gonna be live mobile for now. So yay! Um, but I thought we could at least still unbox it live. Um, I can get you guys some music too, I guess. Last time it was kind of quiet, so I'll get you guys some. Immediately. Oh, look, there I'm live. Sweet. What do you guys want to listen to? My Little Pony. That's that's not music. Uh, I like that one lo-fi anime intros. Those are kind of fun to listen to. Oh, wait, is it defaulting to that? Bruh. I think it's defaulting to that phone. This is the issue when you have two phones. One for the bed and one for the bread. Hang on. Ooh, I can connect to my neighbor's TV. That's why you password protect that. Just gonna put on some hentai for them. I'm sure they won't mind. No, we can. I don't think it's working. No, I don't think it's working. Okay, no, no music. I think it's connecting, and I can't mess with that. 
because we're streaming. If I leave the stream, it closes the stream. So, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> I got you guys. Got you. Okay, let me get the box. I gotta take some stuff off of it first. Got my address and stuff all over it. So, give me un momento. Okay, just talk among yourselves. I'm sure it'll be a very exciting conversation. There we go. Has enough shipping labels on it, I'll say that. Maybe. Come on. And I honestly, I don't really know what bigger this is either because. Come on. When you order through through uh, uh, the, the website, it just tells you, and you order like multiple figures together, it just tells you when they ship and tell you which figure ship. So I honestly don't know what figure this is. So all my. Made in China. Well, thank you, China. What a glorious country. All right. Here she is. I think that's all my stuff. My shipping label's off. There we go. Look at the size of this. I haven't opened a resin in forever. I mean, look at this. Look how big my, this is how big my hand is. Look how big this box is. Makes up my whole table. So yeah, I got this from um, FNC, I think. Uh, I think that's what that website's called. I don't know, I'm not really a, uh, a uh, resin person. So we're kind, of, uh, we're kind of figuring this out together. It is a big box though. I didn't even hear the UPS man come either. He just left it and ran. It's a, it's a big boy. We got a lot of tape too to, to get through. So it's gonna be quite the adventure. Oh, me too. I'm so excited for the time it in figure. It's gonna be, whoo! It is gonna be fucking. I mean, I'm so excited for that figure. She is top mommy waifu. Okay, so I'm gonna start cutting. You guys, uh, you guys do your thing. Um. This is a lot of tape. I'm not 100% sure how to... I guess we just got to open the top. It is a little bit weird for this not to be shipped in, its, in like a box, but I guess, you know, I'm just so used to scales that are shipped in a box, even though they come in a box, but this is just a box in itself. Boxception. Okay, let's cut towards ourselves. So we... Eh. Bruh, this tape, though. Um, this is... Maybe I should have started this before the stream. This is a lot of tape. Yeah! Okay. Is this... Okay, well, we'll just kind of pop open the top and see what we got to work with here. They did not skimp on the tape. I will tell you that much. This is a weird box too, it's like, okay. It's got these weird like indents on the end here. Vanilla, no this is not vanilla. Um. Oh, is this, okay, no there is a box on this. So we can, we can fuck this up, it doesn't really matter I don't think. So we'll just gotta try to cut. Oh, this is doing my knife so bad. Oh, I need my serrated knife. Okay. So, oh, one more. I'm hungry for that ass. I had ice cream yesterday for the first time in forever. My mummy made it for me. All right. Okay. So, there is a box in here. I got confused because... It, uh, I mean, this looked like the box out here, but there's actually a box in here. Studios. That looks like, that's a Dragon Ball, isn't it? I don't know anything about Dragon Ball, but that's, that's a Dragon Ball. What the fuck? We'll be dragging some balls on this figure later, if you know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm saying. Come on. Come on. There we go. Break the seal. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. 
this. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Oh. oh, she's glorious. Get this box out of the way. Oh my God. It's Saint Lady from that one game. <laughs> Can I show you guys this? Oh my God. Guys, look, it's Saint Lady from uh, Ab Aber Lane, Aber Street, the popular mobile game. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop moaning. Let's see what it says on the front here. Let's read it together. Uh, oh my, what a good little oof. Okay, that's a, that's a way to say it. Oh my, what a good little commander you've been. Wait here all this time for me. Hop on, did you think you would be driving? Hee <laughs> hee, you shouldn't underestimate me. There's a little bit of a typo right there. They forgot the T and that's supposed to be over there. And that's just a whole grammatical issue. This has actually a barcode on it, so this was possibly sold in stores? Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna read that in her voice. Oh my! I can't do a girl's voice. YS. What does YS stand for? Uh, I actually don't... YS? Uh, I actually don't know what that means. <laughs> What does YS stand for in, in conglomeration with this character? Yo Star? Oh, yes. No, you're probably right. That's a good idea. That's the most PNG baked logo I've seen. Hole or what? I don't. Yeah, this is her hole. This is actually, this is how her hole was uh, shaped in World War II. So if you're ever wondering about ships, um, this was her particular. Bruh. Saint Lady has a deck? I didn't know she was a Futa. That makes it even better. Um, okay, yeah, so there's the box. You got the logo on the side. There's the front. You got a little bit of broken English role play there. You got this whole thing going on there. You got the bag. You got, I don't know what that is. I don't drink. Uh, 2021 party dress. It's like you guys are watching one of my figure reviews live. This is how it's made. Actually, no, because I would not be talking about this. And it's got a little UR code. Bleh. You guys ready? Don't tell me to unbox it. I, I, I could have unboxed this without you. Dude, it's bootleg. What's that saying? Boo, uh, bootleg? Not bootleg, but it's like boo, boo something. Boo Radley. All right, let's open this. What the fuck? Like I said, I'm not the resin expert here, so this is, uh, oh my God, did you guys see that? Okay, I'm glad I didn't see that on stream. I just fucking knocked myself out. I may need a bigger table. Uh, this is supposed to be a four scale, so I don't know exactly, but we'll see. I, I'll be able to tell you. I have enough four scales to where I feel comfortable telling you what the scale is. We can compare it to. I got some four scales I can compare it to. It's got these, like, handles here. You guys see? I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Got these handles. Just going to need these handles later, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's go ahead and... I like the box. The uh, original art, but I don't know if they have the licensing to do that. Okay. All right, we're gonna drop the box off the end. Perfect. Saint Lady, oh yeah. That's pretty nice. Packaged pretty well, I guess. It's got some suspenders. Woo, all right, let's get a little drink here. Yum. All right, um, assuming these come, I'm done here. And then here, wow. I've never seen something packaged like that before. I'm so pretty, woo! Yeah, that's not bad, that's pretty cool. I've gotten a few figures like this before, mostly the resins in the past, but I've never seen anything with that level of packaging. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and 
a little bit hard to tell where I'm supposed to open this. Uh, I'm assuming if I just cut the tape, I'll be able to kind of peel it off, maybe? Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and start the peeling process. Not sure if this is going to be something I can show you or not, but uh, we're going to find out together. Sorry for the noise. Normally I would edit this out if I was doing a video, but it's not going to be a while because my computer's still broken. I'd like to know the price compared to Fring's new ice. So New Jersey, she's 60K, which is US, what is that, about 500? Um, I actually don't remember how much this was. I can check for you guys. Though. Just remind me and I'll check. It wasn't that expensive, but I, I honestly don't remember. I'll have to, uh, just remind me and I can, I can pull it up. Or you can check if you want to go on favor. Is it, did I get this on FNC? Yeah, I think I got an FNC. So, uh, so definitely, uh, so check. Wee. If not, I'll, I'll check here in a second. I don't know if I'm supposed to open it this way, but uh, we're going to find out together. I'm, a, I'm really hoping that this is the front. Okay. So we're going to leave the tape there. All right. Are you boys ready? I'm going to take a peek first because I am a little bit concerned. Uh-oh. Did I open this backwards? Okay, I think I opened this backwards. Fuck. Okay. Um... Balls. Can I try to flip it? Is that gonna work? Oh god. <laughs> Flipping it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just take the tape off, it's so ugly. Charles in charge of our And all right, Charles in charge. Hey. We ready? I'm gonna take a peek first, just to kind of get the, uh... All right, well... <laughs> it looks like a resin! That's about the most resin-looking resin I've seen. I'll move it over a little bit. Uh, yes, please. Please don't be the B word. I don't even want to say it, because it scares me. But, okay, this is... This is where I kind of miss the scales, because it's... They're just kind of put together already, for the most part. So we got the stand, the base here in the middle. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Well, this weighs about 20 pounds. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh, it smells different than a scale. It's got a different... Okay, and then here on the bottom... <laughs> you got uh got a picture i'm assuming that's her her butt i could be uh mistaken balls where are you guys seeing balls i don't see any balls i definitely don't see any balls there um picture i'm assuming that's her butt and i got number 33 out of 460 that's a pretty good number i guess this seriously has to weigh 10 10 pounds or so would be my guess that is heavy. Oh my god. And that looks good. Yeah, I don't see anything really off with that. Uh, I don't really know if we just start pulling things out. Okay, this looks... That looks like something I can't show you. Uh, 460. Looks like there was 460 of them made. Which I think with my Centaur one, it was... Uh, how many of those? There's only 300, and I think I have like 130 out of 300. You don't see that figure come up for sale very often. Okay, so this looks to be part of her dress. She gives kind of the first idea here on quality. That looks pretty good. Yeah. I mean, the paint and everything looks pretty darn good. I like the texture on it. Um, I'm assuming that's her front there. Possibly. I'm assuming that is her bad badungas, but could be mistaken. Yeah, it's got a nice texture. Feels good. It's heavy. 
doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything. So put that aside. And then, this is her body. So I'm gonna get this out real quick without showing you guys. I will take a peek, make sure it looks okay. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, yep, that is definitely her body. Make sure it's not broken or anything. God damn, she's got, she's got assets. She's got assets. Oh God, okay, this feels more breakable. This is, whew, okay. Yeah, this feels definitely more breakable than I'm used to. Jesus, she's got an absolute dump truck on her. Okay, I cannot show you guys this. Uh, we can once we get her together though. Let's, where can we put her? Uh, let's see here. Maybe I just put her over here. Gosh, she feels really breakable. Okay, I'm gonna put her over here just so there's no issues with her falling off the table or. Oh, that makes me scared. <laughs> that makes me scared. Resins are scary. All right, let's uh, just guess. All this will be on Discord later. Lynn, if you want to post it, I will, believe me, there's going to be plenty of pictures on the Discord later. It is, uh, yeah, no, this is something I've been waiting a long, long time for. Um, one of the first resins I've ordered, I have this one that another St. Louis ordered. And then all this is kind of leading up to the time and end figure, uh, which I've ordered, which I think is coming out like end of this year. Um, but that's that's a huge figure for me. That's like a probably one of like my bucket list figures. Okay, we have her face here, which is always okay. That looks good. Let's take a closer look here. And I mean, resins are completely like I said. I'm not a resin expert, but it's they are completely different than your typical scale so you do see a little bit like you can actually see the texture of her skin from like the painting and but overall that looks pretty good this probably was my biggest concern but she's got a little bit of gunk on there but i can uh i mean that's pretty impressive for somebody to have painted the lips lipsticks whatever um and then yeah the ys which i totally forgot yeah you'll start that's that's a cool little feature. The hair, I mean, look at the detail in the hair. You don't see that level of detail on a, on a uh, scale. I mean, that's that's pretty good for the hair. Um, lots, few of those are, are on their own, so they're pretty, pretty breakable. We're, we're gonna uh, treat this carefully. But yeah, that looks, that looks good. That was probably my, my biggest concern. Um, I am still a little bit nervous about having this on the table. I'm gonna set them aside here ah, on the phone just so there's no possibility of breakage. Get the rest of this out and then we'll have more table to work with. We got an arm it looks like and something else. Oh, little instruction book thing. Okay, we'll have to take a look at that. We got an arm. It's packaged well, I'll say that. I mean, with resins, it's always a gamble, but this is a uh, pretty... Oh, okay, this is all one big thing. Just trying to not forget anything. That's the thing with resins, is there's so many. Purse. Well, look at all this. I just kind of want to get this off the table. Alcohol, little bottle. Looks like a crown bottle or something. Oh, there's the other part of her clothing. There's nothing else in here. Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Oh, yep, something. A necklace, and then another arm, and then whatever this is. I'm assuming this has something to do with the base. That looks very breakable. We'll set that aside. And then a glass. All right, and I think that's everything. We're going to move this out of the way just so I can actually... Have a table for assembly. Whoo, okay, this is, this is a big figure. Um, so base, base. I don't even really know. I kind of forgot which way this is supposed to face. This is what I typically have to refer to the box itself. I think it's gonna be kind of facing, well, I guess it'd be like that way. Um, so. 
these little parts out of the way. I do want to take a look at this. Typ typically, a resin will come with some sort of card. Pretty much just telling you the number on it. Just like telling you it's legit. I mean, if you're ever buying it secondhand or something. Um, that's kind of cool. I guess it's just a piece of cardstock. And then it gives you the image on it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a nice little addition. My uh, Supersonico came with that. I don't remember if my Centaur came with that or not, though. It just was written on the box. That's how I remember the number. So cool. All right, I'll definitely save that. Um, actually, I think we're backwards here because I think this is supposed to be like that. I might actually have to pull out the box to refer to that. Okay, let's get this because this looks to be something important. I'm assuming this is the table for behind her. It would be cool. I mean, I, I think with scales, they just make so many of them. That's probably why they don't do a card like that. Um, with resins like this, it's typically more to show like, I don't know if it's a rarity or just their production number. This feels really breakable. <laughs> oh, this is... I've had a long day, too, with PC problems, so I'm really trying my best to, like, take my time and not rush this and not get frustrated. So we're going to open up this. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, this is, like, fine china. I I don't know how people do this all day. Like, people who work in jewelry stores and stuff like that is... Whew. How do you resin people do it? Oh, my God. Look how good that looks. That is pretty impressive. Look at the detail at the bottom. How they like aged it and everything. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, I've seen a lot worse. Especially for something that's just going in the background. The nice thing about resins is you don't typically have to worry about them fitting in the pegs. They're, they're very, at least the ones I've had, have been very generous with that. My Centaur one's actually a little on the loose side um, compared to scales, which are typically uh, more on the harder to. And then, okay. I guess her clothes just like snap together on her. Well, let's get the, let's, let's take a look at the alcohol and the, like, we'll get the backdrop and then we'll get her on there. We'll kind of go from there. So here is the, whoa. Is there actually liquid in there? That's cool. I can't tell if there's actually liquid in there or not. I don't think so, it just, whoa. Is there, I cannot tell. That's very convincing though. It does look like there's, alcohol in there i don't i don't really drink so i don't know this is patron now patron's clear isn't it i don't know i don't drink but uh and i think if i am correct here that this uses a magnet and it does and it's a very strong magnet and that makes me a little nervous i would just slams into the top there make sure it's facing the right way i guess it goes this way wow that's a very strong magnet do not let that go if you're up here and you let it go, it probably like should just snap the table. Okay, I guess that's good. It says Lar Single Armagnac XO for all you, all you alcohol people out there. I'm sure that's a very popular brand. Then we got a purse. Which looks like a Coors bag. That's for Michael Coors. Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. I know handbags. Actually, no, that's. Is that Coach? That's Coach's symbol, isn't it? It's kind of weird. Isn't Coach a, like more of a Western brand? Huh. Odd, but okay. And this actually has a... Has a stand too, I guess? Shut up, kids! I'm streaming! Get a job! Does this go on the front here? Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit confused on this. Uh... Oh, please. Oh, that was just... Okay, I'm an idiot. See, these, that, 
That's something I typically would have edited out. Edited it out. That's something I would have edited it out too. But I don't have that ability. Should this be facing down or see? I need to see the box. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hanging down, but the magnets. There we go. There we go. Kind of. Okay. I mean, so far so good. Now we get to the scary part. Wait, why does she? Have... Oh no, she doesn't have hands on there. Okay. So let's get the rest of this unboxed, I guess. I'm trying to read as much of chat as I can, believe me. It's a little bit hard on mobile because they the messages disappear really quickly, but I am trying, believe me. There's the glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, I saw the Tifa. I wish I liked Tifa more because she gets a lot of good figures, but yeah, she's just not my favorite. Sometimes she looks cute, but most of the time I'm just kind of like, eh. There we go. Is this, that's not an alcohol you typically would put in this kind of glass, right? I don't know. I'm not going to pretend like I know, but we're going to put that aside because I think that actually goes in our hand. And then we got this. Sopa! Hello, that's one of my favorite foods. Sopas. Um, we got this. Don't really know what that is. Oh, that, I think that goes on her top. Could be mistaken. And then we got her a little, uh, little thingy-majigger here, a necklace. Get these out of the way. Get this out of the way. Get these out of the way. I'm saving everything. You guys know me. People always ask, do you save the box? Do you save this, that? Yes, I save literally everything. All these bags will be saved. All the styrofoam, everything will be saved. That's the same for a scale, resin. It don't matter. I save it all. Now, this will take a while. We still got to put her together, and we have probably one of the most nerve-wracking parts still to do, and that is, I'm assuming that's going to be her dress because it's one of those dresses that kind of go in around her, and uh, those typically are a bit scurry. Okay, we got a few nice touches here. Glass mug root beer. Mm-hmm. Go down, give me a glass of mug root beer. Oh my God, look at her nails. Oh God, hopefully you guys can see that. Look at her nails. They actually have sparkles on them. Bruh. That is awesome. And then her uh, little pendant here. I'm not really sure what to call it. Also has a sparkle for the diamond. Really hard to see in the light, but it does actually sparkle like a real diamond. That is a really nice touch. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. That's what Rocket Boy needs to do on their scales. Shut up, kids. I'm streaming. Back when I was your age, I was down in the mines, 27 hours a day. Okay, let's grab her. We're gonna try to put this on. I might have to do some of this off camera because she is very naked. There's her head. Oh God. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some of this off camera. So I'm just gonna turn you guys a little bit. I promise I will show you guys the end product here. I'm just going to kind of move you over just a wee bit. Uh, you're making super excited for the Marin coming. Yeah, I do have a Marin ordered as well. So um, I guess we can stream that. I don't know if I'll do a video. I guess eh, a lot of people like Marin. So I guess that would be an interesting video for some. But okay, let's take a look at this dress and see. Um, this is where things are going to get a wee bit complicated. So on this you guys here i'm assuming these holes that are covered by these little plastic pieces are where the straps go oh boy those are those are going to be somewhat difficult to get off if you know what i'm saying okay i'm gonna use a knife this might not be the ideal way to do it but okay yeah perfect i actually did that was the ideal way to do it eh. There we go. It's, it's crazy to imagine that something like this can get made, painted, shipped, and like survives that whole transit. And then I'm going to be the one to break it. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. That's, that's not going to happen. Okay, so 
I mean, there's no instructions on really how to do this, so I kind of just got to do this on my own. Uh, intuition here. Okay. And I'm gonna, I wish I could show you guys more of this, but you're just gonna have to bear with me here for a sec. Oh, does this, I keep thinking that it's less revealing than it actually is. Oh, okay, this might be difficult. Okay, that's why. <laughs> okay, maybe we should put her down first. Okay, let's try that. So put her down first. Like so. Okay, it does kind of guide her in. And then we'll take the top, put that on. Oh boy, this might. I'm not good when this is with the scale, like the two piece clothing that go together. Like, here, I'll show you guys. No, I keep forgetting I can just pick this up. This is kind of what we're working on here. Um, oh God, this is, this is difficult. Hang on, hang on, because it's just going to slip off and I can't show you guys that. Believe me, I wish I could, but I get in big boy trouble for that. Okay, um, grab the box here real quick so I can kind of see a reference. Put the box right here. There we go. Well, it's a good reference shot. Gives you guys something to look at. Release thine cheeks. Because the issue... I even do, am I doing this right? I think I'm just off on this whole thing. Yeah, I was off on the whole thing, okay. That's the thing with resins too, like you shouldn't really have to force it, so if you're forcing it, something's, something's not right. Okay, yeah, see I was, I was just off. That was the issue. Okay, so we got that side. Oh, this is so scary. My hands are shaking. Got that side. I'm going to very carefully put her down. Wow, that top does not cover much. And then this just hooks onto that, I guess. Oh, this is this is scurry. Oh, this is giving me wedding Sonico flashbacks. Uses the same kind of hook design. Beep. Banana burp. Okay. Okay, that one doesn't quite want. Oh, I scared. Oh, this should come with assembly, where you can pay them to assemble it like Amazon or Ikea. I kind of need to put it on the base, I think. Okay, let's turn this my way here. And then... Okay. Does that have... Uh, do I have this like backwards or something? Supposed to be more like, like that, I guess. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta, th oh God, I gotta think this through. This is why I don't do resins. They're so scary. They're scurry. Is that right? Okay. That feels like something. That feels like, okay. Okay, we're making progress, slowly but surely. We're gonna try to get this top on her. They do not give you much extra room to work with here. This is giving me supersonical flashbacks so hard. Oh God, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't like designs like this. They think, okay, let's just take a little break. Take a breather. Nobody freak out. Mm. 
Mmm, that is a tasty burger. I guess we'll put our head on. Well, let's hold off because we still gotta put on the necklace. All right. I think I'm ready to dive back into this. Okay. We just need to get this hook on, and I think the rest of this will be easy. Maybe we just need to get a little extra off this side. Oh, we're so close. Our babungas are just a little bit too, oh, too big. Not forgiving. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. It's like up against it. No, 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 no. Don't disconnect. Okay. Well, we got it, but we disconnected on the side. All right. That's okay. I think we got it. I think we're good. Move that over a little bit, cover it. Oh, okay, that did something. That feels better. I think we're off again a little bit. There we go. Yeah, headless saint lady. Then we put on the necklace. Pretty easy. And then we put on her head. Pretty easy. And then arm question mark it's all magnetic which ah oh, every figure should be magnetic magnets magnet magnet are the way of the future yes yes come to me i'll move her over a little bit so you guys can see i'll try to adjust the lighting so you guys can see a little bit yeah i know magnets are amazing this is why every figure should use magnets that? Is that? Is that good? That seems like it should be more. Oh god! Come on. Come on, Saint Lady. Is that good? That seems like a little bit off. It seems like it needs to be more like... Oh, I think we did it. I think we're good. Okay, not touching. Look at that. We did it! My first resin in so long. Hold on, let me let me adjust the lighting, see if this helps at all. Kind of, maybe? Maybe if I just turn this off. Is that better? Worse? I mean, at least you guys can kind of I don't know. The lighting in here is not great, so I apologize, but do you guys want a closer look? Closer. That's a good idea. Swing wing. Actually, let's just, I don't know why I keep moving this around like a fucking Neanderthal. Let me just take you guys off. Shoo ba da boop boo. Shoo ba da boop boo. Shoo ba da boop boo. There she is. Oh, beautiful. Actually, yeah, I mean, it is it is pretty impressive. I don't know what that is. Hello? Oh, that's a piece of foam. Okay, that's like a dead boog. Actually, you know what? If I turn the light back on, I'll get rid of some of these. Gotta adjust this. I can't have shadows. Shadows are somebody who makes videos worst nightmare. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Saint Lady. You guys can see the purse, little thing of alcohol. There's some of the detail on the table. Damn legs. Yeah, Neonards are fucking awful. Cute. She's styling. Oh, Chanel. That's right. That's Chanel. I don't know why I thought that was Coach. And then uh, here's a closer. I didn't really show the base too much, but yeah. There's the base. Kind of got this like fake fabric thing. Yeah, it does actually. I thought it was Coach, but I totally forgot. Yeah, that's Chanel. Nice little touch. Then the alcohol. Like like I said, I don't know if that's like real alcohol. I, I honestly don't know. But I was very nervous because it's one of those that like clasp on each side of her. But it actually worked. So I like it. 
I like it. I mean, you do see like some signs of like resin on her. There's a little bit of a blemish right there. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then a little bit on her face, but I might be able to, oh, there it goes. I might be able to get some of that off with just some canned air. I, no, I love this outfit. This was like my favorite outfit of her. I love St. Louis, and then this outfit of her is just amazing. So yeah, no, I'll probably display her just like that. I don't know where, because this is very heavy, so I honestly don't know. How pro she's probably gonna have to go on the base of my new cabinets. Uh, her eyes are either stickers or they look like stickers. Could be wrong, but yeah. And there's a look at like the Yostar thing. Got some shine to it. Necklace. There, those were the hooks that I was struggling with. They do not give you much extra room to uh, work with, but. And then her nails. You can see the sparkle there. That's just, that's such a nice touch. Even have like the little wrinkles on her. On her, uh, shimmy bing 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 uh, on her fingers. And her little band there. I know those hooks are, those hooks are a struggle. They do not give you much extra room to, uh, to work with. Got the bottle or the, uh, glass in her hand the right way. I got her nails are just like the best little touch I've seen. Only with the resin you would see. See a little touch like that. I'm gonna spin this around so you guys can get just kind of a different angle because I actually haven't seen it from this angle. So let's see it together. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's how clothes work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's her back. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> you got the hair, lots. The hair looks really good. They did really good on the detail of the hair. Very, 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 fancy, fancy. So it is a, listed as a four scale on the website. I didn't see that listed anywhere on the actual figure box itself, but it's a four. It's it's most comparable to a four scale. So then you can kind of see how the dress comes down. The legs, the table. There's that. I don't know. Uh, no, I think that's just kind of an effect on the box. I think it was only sold as this kind of more silver color. I don't think there was really any option in that. So I'm going to spin her back around here. The base is cool, too. It has a little, little detail on it. You know, it's, just a, it's not just like a hunk of plastic or black plastic. So this is done pretty well, too. Spin her around here. I mean, for the for a resin, the toes aren't bad. I've seen worse. They still add some sparkles onto them, so. Yeah, I've seen worse. She is commando. Yes, that is true. That is the uh, statement of the century. But, I mean, look. Oh, God, I, you get some really nice shots with this. Look at that. Here's a nice shot. You could do something like that. If that focused, that would be a nice shot. Oh, I could just I could just take pictures of this for the next fucking hour. You probably get something with the table. Yeah, it's all about framing, you guys. You, know, you gotta you just gotta frame it. You get something like that. Beautiful. Nice touch too. How oh, it kind of looks like she's holding the back. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure under LEDs, this is going to kind of show up under whatever LED color you want. So that's kind of cool. I'm sure if I put under the blue, um, it'd really make her like her hair and the, the dress pop. The lighting in here is terrible. I'm using a light box to try to get the best I can out of it, but it's uh, it's not great. But yeah, that wasn't too bad. What did that take? About 30-ish minutes. So I've I've had worse. I love the detail on the table, too. That looks really good. Especially at the bottom, they did really good on that. 
It's beautiful. I just love that. Oh, God, I love St. Louis so much. She's so pretty. Oh, if that would focus, that'd be a shot right there. Boom. 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 Anywhere you look, it's just perfect. Boom. 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 Easy. Easy art. Yeah, I thought that was going to take longer, but uh, I mean, you could do the straight up. A goddamn. A god damn. I mean, she. I will say she looks exactly like the box. Yeah, it's pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Yeah, I know the magnets were definitely a... Uh, put this down for a sec so I can get a drink of water. Um, we're definitely a good option whoever decided to do that which i mean it seems like a lot of resins have just done that now so which is good i love it bring this back up bring this back over so you guys kind of see better uh no so it's still slotted the arm and everything is still slotted so it only locks into one position um just like a scale would be um it's just the because resins don't have that give that PVC does to where you can actually like make the arm hole smaller than the arm itself and it'll still fit in. You know, it has that flexibility of the plastic. This doesn't have that. So uh, I think that's why they use magnets now is just to, just to hold it in place. Yeah, the table's done really, really well. The gold accents here and just the, the purse and everything, everything. There's just a lot of little details and I think that's what's kind of unique about resins. I think maybe this is supposed to be facing the other way. Typically, it'll, yeah, it was. I guess it's supposed to be facing that way. Yeah, that's what I say about resins. Typically, they'll tell you. If it's done well, if it's done by like a good company, it'll tell you. Or you'll feel it when it kind of locks into place. Oh, let me turn this back off. Everyone said that was better when it was off. So yeah, there she is. I'll definitely have to throw her in the cabinet so uh, I can get, well not throw her, that was a bad choice of words. I'll have to put her in the cabinet under some LEDs and get get some shots of her. She is pretty, I'm uh, I'm glad. You know, it's, it's always kind of nerve wracking getting a resin because you don't know. It's literally just some random company making them. You, you It's harder to tell quality, you know, so. But it uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, is there any questions or anything that I missed? Anything you guys had for me? I know I kind of was focusing more on the figure. That's one thing with resins is they take a lot of concentration. Um, did you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything for me? This dress looks more blue in the box than it does on the camera though. Is that just, yeah, I think that's just the lighting. Um, I think once I put this under LEDs, maybe I'll adjust my LEDs a little bit. Right now they're set to more of a kind of a very light bluish, neon bluish. Maybe I'll try to do more of just a kind of a darker bluish. Maybe something that's kind of more of this tone and see if I can get that same, um, uh, that same kind of hue. We'll see, I'll mess around with it a little bit. But I, I'm not sure, that sounds right. It wouldn't, I, I think you're right on that. I'm, like I said, I don't follow resin stuff super closely, but I think you are right on that one. The only other resins that I have ordered are the Marin, pretty much the first one that was announced where she's in her bikini and has the light up uh, kind of LED sign behind her. I have the other St. Louis ordered. Um, oh my gosh. Which uh, I'm really excited for. Um, it looks, it's from, a, I believe it's from a different company because her face is different, her hair looks a little bit different, but um, I'm sure once that arrives, I think that's a little bit off, but once that arrives, I'll definitely do a, either a stream or a video on it. And then I have um, the, uh, 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 oh my gosh, the uh, uh, Time It In, the Shira Inu, I can never say her name. I have that one ordered as well, which I think is not until like December or something. Somebody asked about something I said last stream. Uh, last, so you talked about resin streams. You were doing some research on which companies are trustworthy and any updates you found so far. So pretty much the ones that I order through and most of the ones that you see or people talk about online um, is FNC and Favor GK. I just go through... FNC, um, I believe that's where this one came from. 
it seems like they have like good it's kind of like the ami ami of of resins it seems like where they just have like they always seem to have a good price good customer service good shipping options are they always the best are they always the worst no but it's just like it just seems like a good company that's the reason i go with ami ami is are they always the best no you know pricing wise or shipping wise or whatever no but they seem to have the best customer service they more times than not, they're probably one of the better places for pricing. So it's just like, I'm just going to, it's just easier for me just to, you know, buy from one place. Get you guys a little bit of a better view here. A little bit of a side view. Yeah, she's done well, though. It is, it's kind of hard to nitpick on something like this. Because most of the issue, like the issue, very few issues that I could see are just, it's just resin. It's just, you know, little blemishes on the resin or, I mean, the little gap, I guess, here. But I don't really know how else they could have done it with that kind of clothing. Don't expect any replacements or refunds buying one lady. If you think it's broken, you got to fix it yourself. Yeah, I mean, that's, and that's the issue with resins is by no means am I saying, oh, we should all switch from PVC, you know, licensed scales to resins. It's... Like you say, it's if you're buying unlicensed resins or resins from these random random companies, it's 100% up to their discretion if they help you or not. And typically, these little companies are in China, so there's a language barrier. There's a huge time barrier, and, and it's just... It's not like Ami Ami or Big Bad Toy Store, write stuff, where I can just write them an email, and the next day they write me an email back. It's, it's not like that. They have no obligation to do that, you know, other than just on a moral standpoint. So there are... Definitely risks as well. And a lot of these companies are new. They they put out a figure that maybe look good, that looks good, but you have no idea what the final product is gonna be like. So yeah, it's definitely different than like a good smile scale or pop-up parade or freeing or something like that, where you pretty much know what you're gonna ex what you're gonna get. I mean, you know what to expect. That's what I've always said about freeing figures, is like pretty much know every time what you're going to get. I missed another comment. Uh, prices seem to be better on FC. Pretty much they are in China where I think they might be elsewhere. Probably making it cheaper for them to get the figure shipped to them. Could be wrong. I have no idea. Yeah, it could be true. Could be not. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really researched like where they're located. But uh, yeah, it seems like FNC has been uh, good so far. Uh, another con. I had a friend from a classic model kind of from GIT resin figure that was the same size. He was cleaning it one day and accidentally knocked it over, shot into 100 pieces. Yeah, that's um, uh, another issue too is just the actual material with resin. If I take my freeing bunny and I knock it over, probably the only thing that is possibly going to break is going to be the bunny ears itself or maybe the peg on the base, most likely not. But, you know, maybe the bunny ear breaks. That's what I typically see if, if a bunny figure is going to break is it's the ear. Um, if I knock this over, it's, everything's going to probably break. I mean, the, the bottom's going to break. The table's very likely going to break. So yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a much more just delicate material. There's no give in it. So, I mean, if it, it's just going to shatter, it's going to crack. Are you getting the 1.6 Kobayashi? Uh, yes. Yeah, I do have the Kobayashi. Figures ordered both the 1 6 cats, 1 6 cat, the cafe figures, and then the two um, kimono figures, which should be here, I believe, in June. I think they're uh, set for a June release, so next month sometime. I'm going to be gone for, I think, a week or so in June on vacation, but I'm hoping to get my computer fixed and then be able to get that review out to you guys, um, along with a bunch of other videos that I just can't work on right now because it's just having issues with my PC. Eden, hello, welcome, welcome. Yeah, the kimono ones that were like, I think Kano was right around a thousand and then the Toru one was like 1200, somewhere around there. I don't remember what I, I mean, I bought them pretty much day of release, so they could have changed since then. But yeah, I got both those ordered and I'll be definitely doing a video showcasing both those figures. Um, when I do get around to it. I'm just behind, I'm super behind right now because my computer is still on you. I thought I was gonna fix it today and I just still having issues. Yeah, I saw that one fest, uh, uh, their spring, I think they were calling it spring or so. I, I forget what they're called, but anyways, yeah, I saw that they were out. Um, I've already seen a few figures 
Uh, one Rocket Boy. It looked like there was a new um, uh, Che figure coming out. Uh, another Fuda figure coming out. At least the draft art was uh, was there was draft art for it already. Or actually, I think there was a draft of it already. Uh, the Cinnamon and Maple One Force. I think those were One Force. Not the One Force and the Maple. I forget what scale those were, but those had a draft version. So yeah, there's a lot of um, a lot of stuff coming out. So it's always good. It's always refreshing when One Fest comes around because it's like I don't want to say things get stale because there's always figures coming out, but it's cool to see like all the drafts and all the upcoming stuff. I'd love to go to one of those someday and just see all the draft work. Yeah, those are going to be my first, like, actual dolls, um, the Toru and the Kana. Uh, I mean, even though they are, I think they're PVC body, but because of just the clothing, I consider them more of a doll. I came close with the Nekopara dolls, but uh, I would get those someday. I just missed the missed the pre-order window on them. I would have to fly, yes. That would be the, <laughs> that would be the problem. I honestly don't know why New Jersey is so expensive. Um... I've only barely, I've looked, I, she's not my favorite character, so I, I'm not going to order, even if it was, you know, 300, I wouldn't, I wouldn't order. She's just not my favorite. Um, I know that people really like her, though. Um, I was unaware of that until I, until she came out, and I was like, huh, I wonder why she got a figure, and I was like, oh my gosh, she is, like, literally the number one Azure waifu. I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if it's just because it comes with kind of more of a unique base or the hair. Or I, I honestly don't know. I think it may be just kind of a combination of all that, plus maybe just how pricing is right now. I'm not sure. Maybe licensing, you know, just licensing was, was going to be uh, uh, an issue for it. I don't know. It's I just haven't really looked into it that much because it's not really, it, it's not a figure I'm really interested in. I'm excited that a lot of people are excited about it, but it's not a figure that, that I'm going to be getting. I like Ezra, but it's not an anime that I like so much that I buy every figure for. I only really buy the figures of the characters I really like. Yeah, I mean, the other Ezra um, bunnies or four scales were pretty much standard pricing. I got Dookie Ork and uh, um, the other one I always forget the fucking uh, Prince of Wales, and uh, those were, you know, standard price. They were expensive, but they were like 300 They weren't like 500 or 600 like New Jersey's going to be. So, yeah. She's pretty big, though. I mean, for comparison, I don't know if I can fit in frame here. That's my head, and that's the figure. I guess you guys you can see both of us. I don't know. I don't, I don't think people are really here to see my fat fucking face. Eh, hello. I think we're more interested in this gorgeous figure. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is hard on mobile, too, for me to fit stuff in frame. But yeah, one fest, lots of new figures announced, a lot of different four scales, Che, Rocket Boy, um, Bond figure. I mean, just yeah, lots of good stuff. Nekopara. Yeah, definitely look it up. Uh, I think most of the stuff is on Twitter. If you look at my Discord, um, people always keep it up to date on on those announcements. Any other questions? What do we got? What do we got? What what desires do we have? What's bugging you? What what do you need AP's wisdom for? What life decision can I make easier for thou? Carrying her down the uh Hallway is going to be nerve-wracking. see if we can get this better in for you. There we go. That's better. Uh, can you make a video on pre-order multiple figures? Uh, yeah, I'd like to kind of do a video on... And I've talked about this a little bit, but doing a video of, like, how to use AmiAmi, how to use Mandarake, how to, like, certain sites, how to use my figure collection. I know I've kind of talked about that 
briefly, but like shorter videos, like three to five minutes on like how to use AmiAmi, how to use a debit card, how to combine orders, how to make it so it automatically combines, combines orders. Like it's stuff like that. How do you know how much shipping is going to be? Um, so yeah, I definitely um, would consider doing something like that. Somebody else asked me a question. Let me scroll back up here. Yes, hello. I'm assuming you're talking about the Supersonico one and the uh, like the white one piece. Yeah, I already had that ordered. Uh, I was really excited for that one. Uh, it was a good price, and I had been following it since the artwork came out, and I was like, yeah, I'm instantly going to order that. How much money to bring back the, uh, the mustache? Uh, you know what? Probably when I come back from vacation, it'll be time for me to shave my beard. So, Paul, I'll let you know. I like to shave my beard every once in a while just to kind of start over, so, yeah. Yeah, that's the confusing thing about using uh, pretty much any of, like, AmiAmi Ami Japan, Amazon Japan, um, any of those, yeah, having to use a proxy service. That's another thing I could talk about. I just haven't used, like, all the proxy services. I've only used one or two, so, yeah. I wish I was a millionaire. God damn, I'm fucking, I'm strapped right now, dude. These figures are expensive. Plus my GPU, I think, just went out. So it's like, great. The most expensive computer part. Well, we're not sure if it's the GPU, but it's I got to test it and see if it is that. But to test it, I got to go buy another GPU. So yeah, fun times. But I'm leaving Wednesday on vacation, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that done <laughs> by then. Uh, I... I've used White Rabbit, and then the other one that everyone uses that I totally forgot the name of. Oh, God. I totally forgot the name of it. It's the one that everyone uses. Uh, I haven't used it in a while, though. I totally forgot the name. I'd have to look on my, uh, look on my phone and see. No, it's not by E. It's, it's, uh... It's another one. Uh, Zen Market. That's right. Zen Market. Somebody mentioned that. I was like, oh, that's a good one. So I was like, oh, I'll try it. It's been a while, though. I think maybe I got the mouse pads through Zen Market. I, I forget. It's been a while. I don't use proxies very often. Pretty much as little as I, as I have to. Pretty much just the mouse pads I had to use a proxy for. The some of the Centuria some of the Centuria stuff that I have I had to use a proxy for just because it was like a Toriana or you know it was like event exclusive stuff. Uh, I think that's it. Usually it's just like the Liliana and Annette stuff that's like Japan only. The good times. Yeah, I used White Rabbit in the past before, too. They were good. They were intu intuitive. I like their site. Pretty easy to use. Yeah, it's nice. I will say, it is It is not bad. Yeah, so the Weeb unboxing, that the P.O. box listed all my videos is still up to date. The 164... Uh, P.O. Box, still up to date, paid for for at least the next few months. That's pretty much, that's going to be the next video. I was hoping to get that out, like, last week, but just with these computers, computer issues, I haven't been able to. Um, I'm, I'm, believe, I am desperately trying to figure out what the issue is. Um, I think we have it kind of narrowed down, but I have to go out and get a part just to test it and see if that is the issue. Um, but that'll be the next video. It, if I don't get it done by Wednesday, though, I'm on vacation. So it could be a few weeks. We might just be doing streams um, until then. Um, so kind of sucks. But I obviously wasn't planning on <laughs> having this issue. I did. Yeah, I've seen the uh, different uh, Jacko pose <laughs> resin figures. I wish there was one of a character I, I really liked. But the closest one would be uh, the Tifa one. But uh I'm not that big of a Tifa simp, unfortunately. Hazel, hello. Yeah, the resin, like, it has to be a pretty unique resin for me to kind of go for it. It'd have to be like St. Louis. Some of the Marins are pretty nice. Um, 
Yeah, it has to be pretty darn special. Yeah, it was a weird issue. It was like, I thought we had it fixed. I thought today I was going to get the video done, get it out to you guys, and get some gaming and stream and be a normal day, and it, uh, it just doesn't work. And it's one of those issues where I, <laughs> I don't know what the issue is, so... Yeah, uh, I think it's my my GPU. I don't know why it's my GPU, because I don't... Nothing really happened to it, but I don't know. I'm going to go out and buy a cheap one, throw it in there, see if that works. If that works, then it is my GPU. Then I have to go out and buy a new GPU. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> if not, I'll just have to buy a computer, and I really don't want to buy a computer, but yeah... I got this on FNC. This is uh, on FNC. I do have some stuff ordered through Favor GK as well, but uh, I think most of that's set to release like later this summer. So for now, we're going to be on mobile streams. So I'm, I apologize, but um, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it is about the quality that I was hoping for, so I'm, I'm happy. Looks good. Oh, oh, you know what? We forgot to put in her, um, we forgot one thing. We forgot to put in her, I think it's supposed to come with, hang on, I think it's supposed to come with earrings. Yeah, I think it is supposed to come with earrings. Let me check the box and make sure I didn't, maybe I just missed them? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to come with that. Uh, I forgot to put them in here, but... Uh, I don't see anything, but... I just missed them somewhere. Check all these little bags. Maybe I just threw them without even realizing it. Uh, maybe not. Huh. I just noticed that. I go, I like, something was bugging me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to come with earrings. Uh, <laughs> I don't see them in the box, though. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, yeah, they are in here. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It blended in. I didn't see them. Well, I'm glad I checked. Some of your sunlight, sunshine. I haven't got her yet. Yeah, I have not received my sunshine cheerleader yet. That was a right stuff order, so it could be a while. God, these are. This is where it all falls apart. There's the earrings. Same thing, has all that shine. Oh, God. Let's see if I can do this. Hoping they just kind of slide in there. Ooh, those are delicate. <laughs> those do actually help, though. I'll fix their glass here in a second. Oh, I could not work in, like, this factory studio, I should say. Things are this delicate. Uh, no, okay, we missed that one. Okay. This one's got a little bit of a bend in it. Oh, I don't wanna mess with it though. This one's gonna be harder because her hair is kind of. Oh, come on. Okay, we might actually have to take her head off for a second. She's gonna be headless for a second. Yeah, we might have to use tweet. I should be able to get it here. Yeah, this is gonna be easier. There we go. Yeah, just just take the head off. It's easier. This falls off. There we go. Yeah, that adds a little bit more class to it, don't you think? Don't you think? Look at that. Let me turn this back off. I guess it's just a little. I wish I could adjust this light. This is one of my studio lights. I can't adjust, unfortunately. There we go. 
think that was a nice little addition. That sparkle, look at that shine. Oh, the glass, yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Last time I kind of bent it, there we go. Better, it's beautiful. Let's get it back a little bit. I'm glad I remembered, I, because I was looking at this and I was like, wait a minute, ear, and then I saw there was holes in her ears and I was like, wait a minute. Something's going on here. Um, let me check to see. I'd have to check on that phone, which I can't because I'm streaming. Let me check on this phone to see if it's still listed on their website. FNC site's kind of even hard to find sometimes. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Mm-hmm, there's GK, favorite GK, right? No, that's the other side. See, I, just, I get confused. Well, I'll just get you, a, let me see if I can just get you a price. This might not be the most accurate, but I just don't care at this point. Okay, so this St. Louis is sold out. Okay, well that doesn't help me. Uh, I want to say it was like 400. I could be mistaken. I can go, I, I can check. I can let you know on the Discord because I have to go check my invoices, but I'm pretty sure it was like around 400. Um, I don't even know if it was that much. Three, 400, somewhere in there. I remember being like, oh, it doesn't seem like that bad. Pretty much was like a four scale, like freeing or something. But I could be off a little bit. I don't know, 100%. I think it's sold out on most sites at this point. I didn't know they were so limited. Well, I guess 400 pieces. That's that's about like normal. That's what I typically see. With get a hey kids. Ugh. Then I can show you guys. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to put her. Boop, boop, boop. If we go down here, probably what I'm gonna have to do is flip this on. Yeah, PC's not uh, not doing too good right now. Come on, old girl. She's not uh, <laughs> she's not doing too good. She's uh she's having some issues. Yeah, poor thing. Anyways, we're going to have to probably put her down here if she'll even fit. Probably one of these bottom bait. I would. I don't know if these are going to be able to hold her. I mean, these are a lot thicker than a Detolf, but I don't even know if she's going to fit. We'll have to figure it out. Worst case, I can put her at the top here, but we're just going to have to... Uh, oops, I probably should have... I forgot that I moved those over there. You didn't see anything. Um, and then I can get like a box for her like I did with... Uh, with my centaur figure, which is just this, you know, acrylic box. I've heard not great things about them, so I'm I'm sticking with what I got. So yeah. Yeah, I mean most likely I'm gonna have to put her down here. I don't know if she's gonna fit, but we're gonna find out. She should. Not sure. I IP the Rio uh, Ryoko figure, buddy. Not too long. I want to know if you think there will be a window to get here. Um, sometimes they do a re-release on figures like that, especially like popular characters like Ryoko. But uh, you can check, like, right stuff in a few other sites that do a longer pre-order window and see if you can find it. I did reorganize a little bit the other day. Um. Kind of moved some of my Neko Para figures, so I have room for more Neko Para figures that are coming in. Move these up a little bit, but I'm trying to make it not look cluttered, but still organized. I don't know. I'm not great at organizing figures. I always typically need help with that. Look at Bash. Good old Bash. Good old Bash. We have a uh, love-hate relationship. But yeah, 
And I think I moved some of these. I can't really show you. But uh, yeah, I'll have to figure that out. I could. I have not used acrylic risers before, so that is uh, that is something I could do. Uh, that's pretty much all I show you guys. Um, the rest of my house is a, is a mess because I've been because I've been working on my PC all day. So it's, it looks <laughs> it is very messy. Let's go check my boat. Let's see if my boat's still here. Bodie, are you still here? Right. Make sure there's nothing. Let's see. Oh, he's still here. Or she, I'm excuse me. She's still here. So cute. Can dare you tell. I'm gonna need this for uh St. Louis. Muse, hello! Welcome, welcome. That's pretty much all I can show you guys. I that's all I have. I just wanted to put that resin together on stream because I knew either I was going to put it together and it was going to be awesome or I was going to break it. What do you think the new Plum and Nickel Para figures are going to be released? I'm not quite sure about July. The new Plum and Nickel Para. The, oh, yeah, they said July, but that seemed really soon. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I Hopefully they keep that release date. It smells like boat down here. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, hopefully they keep I mean, that's quick. Typically, it would be later than that, but... There we go. People who have come and not seen her, now you can come and see her. God, this tripod is so janky. There we go. Let me just shit down here. Yeah, yeah, we just shit right now, yeah. oh, I love her nails, they're so cute. I'm hoping they do though. I mean I uh I'm excited for those figures. Especially the uh Ami Ami versions who which come with the B2 scroll. Because it's an amazing looking scroll. I guess I'll just save this box. I don't really need the outer box, I don't think. Should I save the other box too? I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna put this box. I'm kind of running out of box storage space. And I really don't want to have to get a storage container or a storage locker. Ah, uh, this is from FNC. FNC Garage Kits. I will definitely, uh, try. if you message me on Discord, I can try to get you a link. Yeah, my Flare Neko Pyro figure should be here, I would guess, either tomorrow or early next week. I guess with Memorial, they probably aren't working Monday, but um, yeah, it should be here the next few days. Yeah, no, that's, those are both the places I would write stuff. Otaku Mode, Big Bad Toy Store, uh, Solaris. Those are the places that typically carry a pre-order window longer than what you would see on AmiAmi Ami and some of these other sites. <coughs> um, excuse me, but um, they might be a little bit more expensive. But they're going to be still less expensive than buying in the aftermarket once they release. Typically. Not always the case, but typically. Uh, Discord. Oh, boy. I don't know if I can type on mobile. Oh, God. Len, if you're still here, get him the Discord. <laughs> Give him or her the Discord. Sorry, I'm not 100% used to, uh, to, I cannot show you the food cabinet. I can on Discord. Uh, how does, can I type on mobile? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, I'm so not used to, uh, there's gotta be a way. Oh, well, it's just anime, please, one, two, three. Yeah, if you just do discord.gg slash anime, please, one, two, three, that's, that's my Discord. <laughs> I don't know if there's even a way for me to type on here. It is, uh... It takes some getting used to. I did not fix my computer. No, I thought I did. I got the new cooler installed. It was all excited. Go okay. Got the GPU back together. Um, thought, all right, we're going to be back in business. Get a video done for you guys. Get, uh... 
get back on Discord, maybe do some gaming, get back to gaming. It's been a few days and plugged it in and just more issues. So pretty much I have to buy a GPU next, probably just a cheap like 730 or 1030 to test that to see if that works. Cause I don't know if it's my current GPU that's having issues or the motherboard or something else. So um, we're gonna test the GPU. Hopefully that fixes it. Cause if it's not the GPU, I have to do the motherboard, which is a pain in the ass. And if it's not those, then I have no idea. Like I am, at, if it's not both or either one of those, and I'm I'm out of ideas. I I, it might be new computer time. Which, yeah, we're hopefully not going to get to that step. Uh, I mean, if you message me, I can explain it more in detail. But pretty much, just quickly, not to bore people here, but pretty much put the GPU back together because it was liquid cooled. So put the housing back on it so it was air cooled. Put that in. PCIe plugged it all back in. Got the NZXT cooler in, mounted that on the um, CPU, plugged that in, that all worked fine. Turn on the computer, it does the BIOS splash screen like normal, and then it cuts out. No signal on my monitor, just cuts out. If I go into BIOS, same thing, cuts out. No signal. Um, and then if I just leave it on, leave it keep running, it'll just turn off after about a minute or so. Um, the GPU, when it does cut off the signal to my monitor, the GPU LEDs turn off, but the fans still go. The fans still work. They're still running. Uh, so yeah, I... Could be a motherboard. Could be the GPU. Could be the power supply. Could be something else that I just don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. It's pretty rare for me to see a computer issue where I'm just kind of out of ideas. And my only, my two ideas, replace the GPU with the new one. That doesn't work. Replace the motherboard. That doesn't work. Bruh. So yeah, I got uh, some work to do. And I'm leaving Wednesday on vacation. Hopefully was, I was going to try to get a couple videos out for you guys. But uh, yeah. Thermal issue. I... I mean, it shouldn't be. I'll look into it. I'm not saying it's not that, but I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah, it's like it boots up like normal. I can go into BIOS, but the same time, every time, cuts off. No signal. Computer will run for about another minute or so without any signal on the uh, monitor, and then turns, turns off by itself. The RAM, I was able to pull up the hardware on BIOS quickly before it did cut off, and it showed that it recognized the RAM. It showed the correct, you know, uh, total RAM installed. It showed the correct motherboards. It showed the correct CPU, and then it turns off. So I, I don't know, you guys. It's one of those issues where I'm just like, uh. <laughs> and I mean, if you want to message me on Discord, I can get you more. Um, uh, more information. Motherboard looks good. The caps look good. The pins on the CPU or on the well on the CPU, GPU on the motherboard all look good. Um, the fans sound good. The fans run at full power on the GPU when it does boot up. Um, yeah, I just I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't, no. No, I have an AMD Ryzen 9, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow to pick up a cheap graphics card to test that, to see if it is my current graphics card. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying not to get too bummed out about it until I get that, and then we'll kind of see, but... I really don't feel like spending, if it is a graphics card and I have to replace it, I just don't feel like spending 800, 700, 800 for a new graphics card, but. I can boot it. Well, I guess I could boot it with the G, without the GPU, but I don't have any integrated graphics. So, but I guess I could just see if it runs. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do that. I'll uh, do the CMOS thing if I uh, 
I do get the GPU away, or if that is the right answer to this issue. So anyways, yeah, I don't mean to like bore you guys, but that's just the current situation. So that's why we're kind of behind on stuffs right now, or really behind on stuff right now. Exactly, yeah, it's only, <laughs> it's only figure money, who cares? Uh, it's weird, it just was one of those things where I like, got everything back together today, it was like, yeah, turn it on, NZXT, the screen lights up, I'm like, sweet, and then it just issues, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, it looks good. I want to switch the cooler around because of the way I installed it, I was like, yeah, that was kind of stupid, but. Yeah, I need to just go out and get like a 730 or a 1030 just so I can test that part and then I'll just probably hold on to it in case I need to ever run just a GPU test. It's a little bit interesting when you don't have integrated graphics. Because if I had integrated graphics, yeah, just unplug the GPU, throw in an adapter, throw that on my monitor, get into BIOS at least, see what the issue is. But uh, makes things uh, a little bit more complicated. I have a 2080 Ti. But I went from liquid cooling back to air cooling, so maybe I messed something up. Maybe I maybe I shocked the board. Maybe when I was putting it back together, I, I had static on me and I totally crapped the board. Maybe I put it together wrong. There's only one wire that connects it for the fans, so I don't think the wiring is the issue. Thermal pads were still on there. I think I was missing a screw or two, but that shouldn't affect overall you know, performance. So I tried HDMI. I tried uh, different monitors, different display ports. Yeah, I don't know. Got to that point where I just kind of had to walk away for a little bit. Uh, this is from FNC. FNC Garage Kits. Garage. Toca la garage. I can get you guys like a different angle. Wrist strap, what the fuck? Do I look like a plant? Uh, no. I ground myself, but I don't typically worry about straps. So yeah, that's uh, that's the update on that. And the mobile component. Okay, I, I could check that. I mean, I could take the GPU back apart and see if I messed up something there, but I mean, even if I did, it'd be hard for me to tell. And then, yeah, I mean, rip. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I mean, I could, I was thinking today, maybe I should just take the whole computer apart, like totally restart over, take all the hard drives out, give it a deep clean, and redo all the wiring. And I was like, I just... I don't think it's really gonna change anything. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I did receipt the cooler. I did not receipt the CPU, but I did receipt the cooler on the CPU. Uh, made sure that wasn't on too tight or too loose. Um, the temperature was a little bit high on it, at least according to the cooler, but I mean, it's a Ryzen 9. It's not gonna be running 30 idle, it's going to be higher than that. I don't know. If I was a betting man, I'd say the GPU, but who knows? Bing, bada, bing, bada, bing, bing, bing. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be on vacation, so who cares? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just like, that doesn't really help you guys, because I kind of need it to... Uh, to like get videos out. I did have a leak, but I don't really think that was the issue because it was on top of my GPU cover, what little did leak out before I caught it. So I don't, I, I mean, maybe that was an issue and I got into the pin somewhere and I just didn't see it, but I don't know. 
that could be the issue. I had to unseat the RAM to install some wires today. Maybe I fucked up one of the sticks of RAM. Well, it did show. I don't know, you guys. Who knows? Who cares? We don't need computers. We will revert back to newspaper. I'll do all my reviews and then get an ad in the newspaper and then put my reviews in the newspaper and then you guys can buy the newspaper and get the reviews there. AP's Corner is what we'll call it. AP's Figure of the Week. I'll just I'll just buy some like local ad or local airtime at like three o'clock in the morning. I've always wanted to do that. That'd be so much fun to just have like a fifteen minute or like a thirty minute spot at like two in the morning. I'll show you a BBC all right. Just do that, talk about figures and like news and stuff. That'd be awesome. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit, it's, it's frustrating. <laughs> I just wish I knew what the problem was. I typically they're gonna be unlicensed, I would say. It varies, but I think most garage kit garage kits, you know, historically are gonna be unlicensed. Fan made. Azur Lane. The classic. Alrighty, guys, I'm probably going to wrap it up there. I need to eat some food, um, get some of these projects done, get all these boxes and parts picked up. Uh, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, anything, feel free to message me on Discord. Um, if you do have a question, just at me or send me a private message because I am on mobile. Um, I'll definitely stream before the vacation, and then I'll probably stream when I'm on vacation since i don't can't really get a video out for you guys this so we can just chill we can chat about stuff uh but yeah any other things just discord.gg slash anime please one two three is my discord any questions or anything yeah just shoot me a message all right guys yeah i'll keep you up to date on the computer too um if you have any other questions or you have any ideas you can always ask me i can send some video too if you're a computer person i want to take a look so all right, guys, I'll catch you later. Everyone have a nice night. I'll be posting some pictures of this figure uh, on my Discord, so be sure to check that out. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.